Hello, and welcome to this week's episode of the Pearl Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Had a couple of auditions this week. Was quite fun. Waiting to hear the current result of the Tuesdays and Wednesday audition. Anyway, we shall see. We're going to be meeting a few of my friends in a few moments, so stay cool and hang loose. Look at that. For those of you who couldn't see from that distance what it looks like close up, here it is. What a monstrosity, eh? But it's apartments. What it's going to be for people's houses. Yippee! It's what I say. What about you? It's all good. We might be in the city, but we're still people. They never stop building. There is a huge difference between the country and the city. OK, Richard, tell them what happened. About ten years ago, when I met you, when I was actually doing a, a hospital clean-up programme at uh, Lewisham. I was in the hospital. Uh, my brother here came into my room. I had been uh, in the ICU intensive care and every day he walked in, he gave me hope to see another day. After nine weeks they took me out of intensive care. He they was diagnosed with, with cancer apparently. Cancer. They said I, I, I'd, I'd only be living for six months but ten years later I'm still here, I'm still in the game and I'm still having uh, the best time of my life. And this brother was the one that held me up all the time through everything that I'd gone through, trust me. And what were my words to you, Richard? It wasn't my time. I remember <laughs> that, yeah. And lo and behold, it's true. Exactly. My friend Richard is here to prove it. Exactly. So all you people out there, you've got the big C, the doctors can be wrong, OK? Exactly. They told me six months, six months, and you're out. So but uh, I'm healed now, and I'm OK. Richard, thanks, mate. Thanks for God that. God bless you. And you, mate. We could be anywhere. New York City. Voice things voiced. <laughs> hey, give me a hamburger. <laughs> we could be in London. Are you having some sort of bubble? <laughs> be in Liverpool. All right, that's, what, that's about it, really, isn't it? Liverpool feels like fantastic right here and now. Or even Yorkshire. Hey, my gum. Ain't it bloody amazing? Bloody amazing, amazing is what I say. Or could it be Barbados? It's not be Barbados. Northern Ireland. I don't think it's Northern Ireland either. Definitely not. Definitely. Ah, uh ah. -uh. We're in London. Good God, eh? Whatever happened? Whatever's going on? Right, well, here we go. Have a look at the young one. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Have a Come on, come on, camera shy, camera shy, camera shy. As you can see, they're not my children, but they are a friend of mine, and here is And here's the other one. Hold on, I'm coming around the other side of the car. He can't see me at the moment, but uh... <laughs> here he is. <laughs> here's another one. He's one of my best friend's children. Now, this is what we go through on a daily basis. At the moment, they're washing their car on a Sunday afternoon. So, you know. Anyway, I'm going to leave them to it. He's a little shy. Say hello to the camera. Hello. How are you, mate? Good. So, have you enjoyed the weekend? Um, Saturday's the best. Saturday's the best? Why is Saturday the best? And Sunday. And Sunday? So, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you don't like? No. Why is that? School. <laughs> How did I know? And here's the young guy. He's come to life. The younger one's come to life. There you are. What a gorgeous smile. <laughs> right, well, I better leave it to it. Your mum needs to come back and clean the car, so I'll get into trouble otherwise. Bye bye. That's it for this week's episode of the Paul Innocent Channel. And what it's like to really be an actor in Great Britain. Bye bye. It could be Ireland. Southern Island.